Hermann Runt Race 2023. This year's a bit uh, different. Uh, the wind is from south southwest, and um, that means uh, you are going cl- counterclockwise because you don't want to have upwind in the small passage uh, inside Hermanö. I couldn't join the race this year, but I did some filming and was standing on uh, Gullholmen here. The boat starts once again, the slowest first and the fastest last, and the first boat to the finish line will win. The first boat that shows up is the Mini Folka with Mats Norman from my home club, Vikenägen. Then Oskarsson is coming with his uh, or her accent. And they got in some trouble with a spinnaker. I could see that they raced it uh, just before uh, Gullholmen here and um, got some hourglass. Uh, it was quite a strong wind, 16 to 25 um, knots. And uh, lots of boats uh, struggle with those uh, conditions, especially downwind. Here, Jerker Appel in the first Cumulus, Albin Cumulus. Just before Gullholmen here, strong guts, gusts coming from uh, the side and uh, causing uh, trouble for Mikael Lickbrand in his NF, but he sorted out and uh, with really good speed in his boat. Göran Jonsson that I used to compete with didn't uh, hoist his blue Jenaker. I don't know why. Uh, it seems a bit too calm here for him. Uh, usually he put it up uh, in rough weather, uh, much worse than this, but uh, maybe something happened. So he couldn't do it. Anyway, pretty far in the field here. You're not alone in the Herman Rana here, and you can see Erik Segerlind in the Smaragd. John Hansson, also Smaragd, and Bo Kallenberg. They are going fast downwind, and they're also meeting some cruisers and some motorboats. And a big Halberassi it looks like. Very good speed here and uh, Smaragd without Spinnaker uh, performed pretty well as well. Nice team outfit for jo- John Hansson and his uh, crew with the uh, yellow and blue hat and uh, life jacket. Mats Andersson in the second NF and to be a stellar and crew. Each boat that I can't see who it is, sadly. Then comes Joachim Arbin, that maybe is the last race for him in this boat. I know he has bought one or two more boats. Larsen 25 going with Spinnaker, Andreas Karlsson. Here you can really see how much the wind uh, pushing the boats. A maxi racer gets some trouble when the gusts come from the side. It's Roger Olsson. Still, they're going very fast and passing Gullholmen here.
then a very fast boat shows up with the Jennaker, white and red Jennaker. It's Lucas Andersson in his uh, Melgis 24 going uh, super stable. Crew standing pretty calm on the side and uh, yeah, looks like a sweet ride. I had, uh, I just had to catch up and uh, doing a lap around them just because they were going that fast and uh, it looks so great. Carl Johan Måve in his uh, international folkboat. Yet another Smaragd August Ruckman coming here. No spinnaker for him. It has been up, I see. I see the spinnaker pole, but uh, no spinnaker. Jonas Oskarsson in uh, Omega 30 also putting down the spinnaker pole. I recognize this uh, white, blue, and red. Uh, Spinnaker, it's uh, Lars Niklasson, Dung 1995, usually sailing against him in Udvala, but he's sailing for Vennersborg, I think. And some credit to this uh, Norwegian cruiser in the Bavaria that keeping up uh, good speed here. Pretty impressive. Not bad for a Bavaria. Linus Lindbom Another boat from Deacon Eger, Leif Svensson in his dealer 34 and he's uh, going pretty fast You're doing great Leif I think this was the Vasa 30 with Stefan Hofsten I couldn't really see but uh, that uh, my guess Another dealer, a newer one, dealer 33 with Hans Kaspersson. Lots of boats approaching. First with uh, Spinnaker Martin Thomason Luffe 37 uh, and uh, in the EF Vera Glader Vonasek. I don't know. Next three boats. To the left, Gunnar Höglind, Melgis 24. In the middle, Anders Eklind, J99 and Gunnar Ödman, Albinova. Think I could see some crew members from the Blur project on that boat, but I'm not 100% sure. For my not Swedish viewer, so Blur is uh, one of the largest sailing blog in Sweden and uh, usually sails around on the west coast or in the Mediterranean. Right now, I think it's in Bermuda in the US. The project is held by Peter Gustafsson. Next up, Peter Lindell in the Archambault A31. I don't know if you say it like that, but it's fast. Another fast boat fighting for the trophy is uh, the Chanoa Sunfast 3600 with Peter Lundgren. With uh, Code Zero, pretty clever choice here. The first X99 is Anton Larsson's boat coming with White and blue spinnaker here. And Jena is up as well. An even faster boat from x Yacht XB33 with Anders Koika. And this black pirate ship I have been racing against um, in Lysergil, in Lysergil Race, Finflyer 36 with Richard Bergman. I will put up a link to the video for Lucy Shield Race here in the YouTube. A 
I really don't know what the rescue boat is doing here, going slalom between the sailing boats, but uh, maybe he has a plan to avoid them. Looks like Rickard has really good speed on his fin flyer here and they will be dangerous on the other side of the island going upwind. And it looks like he kindly take all the wind from the XB33. It's a race. A Corby 33 with Linus Edberg coming down here. I know another Corby that is fast. That is in the, I think, uh, European Championship right now. But I think you need more, more sails here in this wind to catch up with other boats. Next boat, I actually don't know what it is, Mareld. Uh, it looks like a custom 717 Elstrom, but um, I haven't seen it before. Tarek 33 with Jonas Liljeström and Jörgen Rangstedt X99, second one. The Tarak 33 have a two reef and Spinnaker. They started exactly like this, so I just assumed the X99 had Spinnaker before. The second fastest boat in race, Carl Fjellman, Melgis 32. But you're not going the second fastest here, Carl. And it's easy for me to judge from the coach, not sailing at all. But uh, yeah, I think it would be a really good speed if they put up the Jennacker or something, something more. Looks little too easy for them. Anyway, very fast boat. Another sporty one with two reef is the Far East 28 Racing with uh, Ulf Andreasson. I know they have a really huge Jennacker that may put them on the side if they put up here, so I can understand they are waiting a bit. Or that going wing by wing is not the fastest downwind around. Gullholmen. After this long downwind, the boat turns around counterclockwise around Gullholmen and around Hermanö. Start going upwind. Lots of tacking. The wind picks up and it's uh, lots of waves out there. Breaking waves, shallow water, and uh, yeah, not easy at all. And it's a long way until Kärringön, where the finish line is. You th thought that was the last boat, the Far East, but it wasn't. It, the fastest boat comes here, XB44 with Hans Johansson. Uh, actually, I saw it had a Jennacker up just some uh, seconds before uh, my video here, so they taking it down to prepare for the long upwind. I'm sure they will catch up with uh, lots of boats out there that doesn't have it so easy. Here is the finish line at Kärringön where the boat will come soon and uh, my friend Staffan is doing some filming. The winner, Lucas, 
Andersson in the Metal Gear 24, Spear 666. Really great work. It looked perfect already at Gullholmen. And a bonus from Staffan here. That's Steven Sund, Gubbe. Han rullar på bra. Han rullar på fint. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Watch some other videos. Have a great day. See you next time.